Hello there. Thank you so much for joining me this morning in this potluck makeup for the over 50s, or in my case, over 60s. This morning I'm going to start with using my Stila One Step Correct, which is this one here. I'm not really sure whether it actually makes any difference to my skin, but I quite like putting it on. It's kind of silky and it does make my skin feel nice. I've already prepped my skin this morning by putting on my hyaluronic acid, followed by my vitamin C, well, CE Ferulic, and finally my SPF moisturiser. So I'm quite nicely hydrated. So that's the Stila, and then I think this morning we will go with the Clinique, where is it here? The Clinique Even Better Makeup SPF 15, which is this one, and I am in the shade C52. So I'm just going to shake that up and pop it on. It's quite nice and liquidy, which I like. It's got a bit of SPF in it, but I'm already wearing an SPF anyway. And I just tend to, at the moment, in fact, usually, I like to put my makeup on with my hands. I just feel like it sort of goes on more smoothly somehow than with a brush. I've never really quite got on with brushes um, and makeup. I love brushes but not for foundation rather than makeup. What am I on about? So there we are and what I might just do actually I'm just going to turn my mirror which you can't see over here to uh, magnifying so I can see what I'm doing and I've already dampened my little beauty blender sponge which I kind of just got into recently. I, again wasn't much of a sponge user. My daughter bought me this a while ago um, and um, I wasn't sure I really liked it and I think the trick is not to get it too wet. I think in the past it was maybe I over wet it and then it sort of shears out the foundation which is no good at all. Well unless that's what you're after but that is not what I wanted. The kind of foundation I like using tends to be medium coverage and fairly liquidy, if you know what I mean. So not too drying in the application. I like it to come out quite easily out of the bottle. So that fa the foundation I did used to use, and of course it's incredibly popular, is the IT Cosmetic CC Cream. It was terribly hit and miss with me, I have to say. Very hit and miss, and I didn't always get on with it. And I've now finished it, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing, although I am interested I haven't bought it yet, but I am interested in the newer It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. Lots of good reviews, some maybe not quite so good. So it's obviously a bit Marmite, as we would say in the UK. You either really like it or you don't like it at all. Certainly divides opinion. I know Nigella Lawson swears by it. She did a whole piece in the Sunday Times about it not that long ago. Oh, now before I put my concealer on, I've forgotten to put on my lip balm which is this one here. Can't see the name without putting my glasses on. If I put my glasses on you get to see my ring light which is not terribly attractive. So I'm just going to put on a little this. Now my lips are quite dry. I'm going to do a whole video on my skin which is just a bit of a nightmare. Well it's not a nightmare, I'm lying. It's not a nightmare at all. It's fine but it just has some niggles that and one of them is patches of dry skin, which doesn't mean my skin is dry, it just means it's allergic to certain things and I have to watch it like a hawk in terms of what I put on it. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Let's go to conditioner. Oh, conditioner. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Let's go to concealer, which is this one. It's Woma, which is a female founded brand. Oh, that'd be good if I put it around the right way. There we go. And it's called Woke. And I was a little bit ambivalent about it. I bought it on the recommendation of Sally Hughes, who is a wonderful beauty writer in the UK. I absolutely love her. She writes in the Guardian newspaper, which if you're not in the UK, you can find online. And it's Sally, S-A-L-I, which is the Welsh spelling, I believe. Um, and she introduced me to, introduced me personally, obviously, <laughs> introduced me to it via Instagram. And um, she, she said she really, really loved it. I think it was one of her new favourite products of 2020, I think. Uh, anyway, it's, I think it's quite good. Uh, but you see what happens. I don't know if you can see, but already under my eyes there, uh, 
it's not quite settling in. I wonder if I need to moist, moisten my sponge and try and set it better that way. Anyway, we won't worry too much about it. I'll tell you what the advantage of getting older is. One of the massive advantages is not everybody can see as well. So the likelihood of anyone spotting my under eyes and going, oh, your concealer hasn't settled in very well this morning, has it? It's very remote. And of course, it's more remote at the moment because we're all working at home in the UK at the moment. No one is going into the office much. I mean, actually, that's kind of OK now, isn't it? There we go. There's a few little weird things. The other thing I will do, actually, is I will just cover up some bits of redness. I have very bumpy skin, so I have quite a lot of moles and I have sort of red permanent moles. They're not called moles, they're called something else officially, but I have quite a few of those, which I do quite like to cover up as well. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'll just cover that up. It is the most beautiful day today, and the weather's been so weird here in the UK. It's We've hardly had any rain at all, so no, virtually no April showers, probably until yesterday, actually. I think the whole month was dry which is very odd and I'm filming on the 29th of April, which in fact is my daughter's birthday. Um, so yeah, so it's been a very dry month and then it's been very cold all of a sudden. So today I think the maximum temperature is 12 degrees centigrade, which I'm not quite sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but I think it's around 50 something. It's not terribly high. Uh, so anyway, not to worry, the sun is out and that is the most important thing for my mood, I have to say. Right, that could be better around the nose. Actually, I might just, let me just moisten this a tiny bit more. This is taking me far longer than it normally does, but that's because I'm chattering away, which I really love to do. And you will find I go off topic rather a lot. If that's something that really irritates you, I do apologize, I will try not to. So there we are. So I think that's just about okay. The next thing we're gonna do is powder under the eyes, very lightly with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in two. And there it is. And that's what it looks like in the pan. And you can see, I've probably had this, well, I've lost track of how long I've had it, but it's a good few, not few years, it can't be a few years. Oh, I don't know, it could be. Anyway, it's going on just to set. And actually what I also do with it is I set my eyelids with it because they are supremely greasy and I've tried using eye primer I think I mentioned in my previous video I've tried using eye primer and it doesn't seem to work on me admittedly I haven't tried any for a good long while but I'm not inclined to have another go at the moment quite so I've set my under eyes with powder my next thing is eyebrows and I'm going to use I am going to use well before I use my L'Oreal Plump and Set Brow Artist which I really like I'm going to use a dark ish brown not too dark Bobbi Brown eyeshadow hot stone this one here which again you will see I've had for quite some time. Not quite hit pan on it, but nearly. Well, I have hit pan on it. What am I talking about? I've hit pan, but I've still got loads left because I don't use all that much. I have tried. Pe oh dear, look, I've gone in a bit heavy handed there. I've tried many eyebrow pencils over the last year or so and tried to draw in hairs, but I am very cack handed. I'm just not. Well, it's a mixture of being cack handed and impatient if the truth be told, because I'm not inclined to spend a while drawing in brows. It's just not, it's just not me really. Um, and I admire people who do do it because I'm sure it looks absolutely fabulous, but not for me. And I mean, I'm quite lucky. My brows are, well, they're a bit sparse actually. That's the weird thing for someone with hair as dark as mine. I mean, yes, it's dyed, obviously, but um, but it used to be actually probably a bit darker than this. No, maybe about this is about the right shade. This is maybe a bit more attractive than my natural colour because my natural colour was more ashy. Um, so anyway, so yes, I'm not inclined to 
draw my fine hairs on my brows in but what I think is really good about this one this L'Oreal plump set and brow is that what it's called yeah oh plump and set brow artist is that it kind of creates the hairs for you and there's the little spoolie there and I think it's great it just sort of fluffs them up which is rather good and that's what we like we like fluffy brows not too fluffy mind you can see I just well actually hopefully you can't see but this is the one bit where I've got a bit of skin showing through because for some weird reason I don't have any hairs growing in there and one day I will get around to trying some lash growth serum because I absolutely love the no not Revitalash I was going to say Revitalash but I don't use that at the moment I'm using Rapid Lash which is about half the price and really really good that's another video Right, so we've done the brows. Now, what are we going to put on our lids? I think, do you know what? I think we might go quite simple today because it's a Thursday, not going anywhere, funnily enough. Now, for eyeshadow, I think what we'll do before we put eyeshadow on is we're going to do the tight lining with the wonderful Le Liner by L'Oreal, which is this one, and it's in the colour Cashmere Noir. And we're going to tight line so excuse me, I know this looks a bit weird. So if you're a bit squeamish, look away now. And that's what we're going to do. Tight lining is a wonderful invention. It really, really is because so what I'm after achieving with my tight lining. Oh, look, I've smudged it. I don't know. Um, what I'm after achieving is as if I were wearing false eyelashes, but I'm not. So the idea of tight lining for me, and I, I'll show you what I do on, on my lid in a minute, is to create a real sort of blackness close to my lashes to make it look as though I've got full, well not make me look as though I've got false eyelashes on, but to give that false lash effect. That's the idea because my lashes are really quite sparse. And although once I put mascara on, they look a lot thicker, they're still not that wonderful thickness and volume and length that I would, aspired to I'm afraid but what can you do you have to work with the tools you have don't you so let's put this all over actually I don't know why I'm fiddling around let's just put it all over and then we're gonna brush it out I'm gonna blend it out it's a great color this it does remind me of something I used to use as a child I was a child as a teenager but of course I can't remember what it is off the top of my head now now let's get a brush for smoothing purposes. Okay, no, that's not a good brush actually. That is a good brush, but not for this purpose. So I think we'll use this Bobbi Brown, doo -doo 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 -doo, which looks like that. Um, and let's just smooth it out. Mm. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna use my fingers because I think it's already started to set because I was rambling too much. That is the only trouble with get ready with me videos, isn't it? Because, well, if you're anything like me, you have a tendency to ramble on and then before you know where you are, your eyeshadow has set. But actually, see, that's quite, I think that's quite nice. It's quite, it's much lighter than it was when I first put it on. Yeah, I think fingers are the thing. Let me just tidy that up a little bit like that. Sorry, if there's a bit of clumping. Clunk, clumping, clunking going on outside. I think there's um, some deliveries going on. There's, of course, it's the spring, summer, so this is the time that everybody wants to do DIY, wants to get their properties renovated. So I think that's what's going on. It sounds like a skip. So I do apologize. Now, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring this up a bit. Oh, I really like that color. Do you know, it reminds me a bit of Bieber. I think that's what I was thinking of, Bieber eye sticks. Back in the day, I know that dates me, but honestly, this is a channel for older women. I don't know whether Bieber ever made it to the States, but gosh, it was a it was a fantastic brand when you were, I was a teenager and maybe into my early twenties and it was so revolutionary. It was, it sort of came after Mary Quant, but building on what Mary Quant had already done with, you know, unusual dark lips, which was great for me because being a dark haired, dark skinned or kind of dark skinned or olive skinned person. I think my skin was a bit darker when I was younger. 
there were so few colours around for young girls of my age. It was all either red lips or very, very pale lips from the 60s, which was really not my thing. Anyway, I think that will do because that just gives a nice, delicate covering to my eyelids. And now, actually I said I was going to do a nice um, black liner on the top, but you know what, I don't think I will today. It's a sunny day, we don't want to look too heavy, I'm not going anywhere, I'm just going to be on Zoom or Teams in my case at some point today. So I don't really need to heavy it up at all. Oh yeah, sorry, I haven't shown you what this is called, this wonderful mascara. It is called, well it's Stila and it's huge. I think that's all it is. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And all the products that I've used will be listed and linked below so that you can have a look at them now. <laughs> I was trying out, I was watching many YouTube videos of all the wonderful women of a certain age who are on YouTube and one of them, Kimberly of Pretty Over 50, who, oh my gosh, her videos are so amazing. And she had mentioned this along with some other mascaras, so I thought, right, I must get some. I wasn't sure if I liked it straight off the bat, but um, I certainly do like it now. Although I'm still looking for my holy grail, it has to be said. Anyway, I ordered about three different mascaras that Kimberly had recommended because I think she was trying out a load of different ones and uh, I completely forgot that I'd ordered the Steeler and I ordered it twice so I've now got two <laughs> exactly the same but I haven't opened the other one obviously so when this one does run out I'll have a spare uh, and I always put two coats on oh, I'm making a real pig's ear of this at the moment I'm just going to bring my mirror a bit closer because I am for near I mean my eyesight's great and I had eye laser surgery. It's another video I could do. If you're interested, let me know. I can tell you about my whole journey about that, which was fantastic. Um, so why did I mention that? Because for close work, I still do need reading glasses. But the great thing is when I did have the laser eye surgery, and that was in 2012, so it's quite a good long while ago now, I had one eye for reading and one eye for distance, which has served me very well because hmm, that's not the most even. I think what we might do is we'll let that dry and then we'll brush it out with a spoolie. Uh, yes, anyway, the uh, laser eye surgery has been amazing for me, absolutely amazing. Now, what we haven't done yet, I don't know if I'm going to, shall I do bronzer? I don't know, I've slightly gone off bronzer, but actually I think I might today. So for bronzer, when I say I've gone off it, that's not quite true. I just, a couple of days ago, I put it on. I just thought, oh no, it's too much, but maybe I just overdid it. Anyway, so I use the Bobbi Brown, and this is the colour I use. It's Stone Street. It seems to be incredibly popular. I was watching someone else the other day who was talking about Stone Street on YouTube. Anyway, I think what I'll do now is I'll turn my mirror around for just, oh yeah, that's, I really like that. I think that eyeshadow is great for a simple, easy daytime makeup. I'm happy with that. So let's just go in very lightly with our bronzer so we don't overdo it. And we're gonna do the three, figure of three, like that. I mean, one of the things I love is the feel of this brush on my skin. Oh yes, I should have told you what the brush is. It's so nice, it's a Morph or Morphe E3. And that's it, wait a minute, let me show you, that's it there. It is so nice. And when we've, now we've done that, we're going to go in with my blusher. I'm thinking about getting another blusher. I've only got one powder blusher and one stick blusher, which I'll, I'll show you at another time. I did go a bit bonkers actually, and I bought, oh, look at this. This is the Hourglass Ambient, what's the colour? Luminous Flush. Well, who doesn't want a bit of Luminous Flush? Oh, and that's the colour. <laughs> and it is absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I'm using the same brush, but nobody knows. And I'm going to do my Boomerang. I think when I did it in the other video, I went a bit bonkers with the upper part, which I shouldn't have done really, because we don't want too much pink up there. And I'm going to blend it out anyway. But we don't want to get too heavy with the... God, I nearly said rouge. That really dates me, doesn't it, with a blusher. Ah! 
Now I'm going to blend it out with this other lovely brush which is a Nick Cosmetics one and that's it there, big fluffy jobby. Let's just blend that out. Yeah I'm really liking this actually, I'm very very pleased. Now what I could do and I think what I will do as well, I, was, I will just add a little bit of my Hourglass Ambient, this is another Sally Hughes, Ambient Lighting, anyway it's that one. <laughs> I'll put, I'll put the links down below. So let's just pop a bit on. Do I still look a bit pale? I don't know, what do you think? I think maybe I do need a bit more bronzer, but I've just got to be really careful with it, not go bonkers with it. So where's my brush gone again? Let's put a little bit more. And then I think once I put lipstick on, actually it'll wake me up a bit. Let's just put a tiny bit more. to give a bit of light and shade and then we'll just blend that out again yeah that's better I think that's better don't you yeah much better okay good now we're going to go in with lipstick I think what we'll do I think we're going to go with Charlotte uh, I'm going to have to put my glasses on so I can see what they're called because the labels have started to run off run off no not run off the labels have started to peel a little bit so this one is pillow talk medium and I think this is just the regular pillow talk yes it is so let's do that we're just going to blot of course I didn't bring any Kleenex but let's use a clean towel actually I might just wipe it off a bit and my trusty q-tip hmm okay so let's go in with the lighter of the two Charlotte's this is pillow talk as you can see very well used let's see how that looks it might just be okay on its own I think yeah it's not bad not bad maybe what I quite like doing is using a bit of a darker lipstick which is this one this is the pillow talk medium and just popping that in the, in the middle like that. just a Give it a bit more depth. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Nice and light for daytime work makeup, even though we're not in the office. So there you have it. I'm not going to take my hair down because I haven't done it yet. But I hope you like the finished look. And if you do and you enjoyed this video, would you please consider subscribing? Gosh, I'd be so excited. I'm so new at this. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'm learning what I'm doing and I'm having so much fun doing it. So if you'd like to join me, please do hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'm trying to upload, well, a minimum of once a week, maybe twice. I'll see how I get on. This is only my third video. So all very exciting. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and see you on the next one. Bye.